Hi, this is Yuan. Uh, nurses aim for patient safety and need support, uh, including training, up-to-date medical resources, uh, clear communication, and safe error reporting policies. Continuous improvement is vital. With the right support, we can better safeguard our patients. What is my initial thought after watching the video? Uh, Denise Quit said, I always trust the doctors and the nurses because they are knowledgeable and they never make mistakes. Um, this statement makes some people feel uneasy because everyone can make mistakes. Um, even doctors and the nurses, they are trained uh, professionals, but they are also human. They have a lot of work and can get distracted because they have to take uh, care of uh, many patients at the same time. Even though nurses and doctors always try their best to avoid the mistakes, sometimes uh, errors can occur. It's important to remember that making a mistake doesn't mean they aren't good at their job. It just um, means they are human. They work hard to double check their work to make patients safe. After watching the video, my takeaways emphasize the critical role of support from uh, leadership for nurses and doctors. To ensure patient safety and minimize the medical errors, there is a clear need for structured policies and protocols, especially concerning the administration of sensitive treatments and medications such as heparin, uh, bl blood products, and opioids. A notable suggestion for enhancing safety matters include the implementation of a dual verific verification process. This process requires two nurses much reveal and approve the administration of this high risk treatments before proceeding. This collaborative approach not only aims to prevent potential errors, but also underscores the importance of uh, teamwork and accountability in healthcare settings. I can share one of my experience that relates to chasing zero. I am working in cardiac telemetry unit. Uh, we often use heparin drips for patients to prevent blood clot. To make sure the heparin works properly, we regularly check its therapeutic level. If the level ends in right, um, nurses need to adjust heparin dose following a uh, specific protocol that requires two nurses to agree on the change. One time, my uh, co-workers asked me for assistance to adjust a heparin dose. The protocol required a initial uh, IV push of specific amount of heparin before changing the drip rate. My co-worker was, uh, was about to administer um, 10 times the correct dose because of a misunderstanding about the conversion between units and the millimeters. Thankfully, because our protocol requires two nurses to check this adjustment, I cut the mistake and we administered the correct dose finally. This experience shows how important it is to have safety checks like dual verification to prevent errors. What influence does sharing of errors have on my nursing uh, practice? Sharing mistakes among nurses help everyone learn and avoid repeating those mistakes, improving how we care for patients. Talking openly about errors making, makes our workplace focus on safety and learning instead of blaming each other. This also makes our communication better because everyone feels okay to talk about their concerns help us solve the problems before they getting bigger. When we share mistakes, it means we are ready to take responsibility, which help us grow and provide better care. Um, being open about the arrows, build trust within our team and with our patients, showing that we are committed to being better. Lastly, our uh, learning from the mistakes, we come up with the new rules and ways to do things that prevent these errors from happening again, making our care safer uh, for everyone. So finally, uh, I use the resource from the video, uh, Chasing Zero, Winning the Wall on um, Healthcare Team. Thank you.